three of all the best of ones happening today and tomorrow. Again, five best of ones each day. And right now we have got a best of one matchup between Team Red and Not Today. These are the winners of the first two respective matches. I'm Annie being joined, of course, by the uh, omnipresent Trent Pax. What's up, man? Hello. Ah! I am, I'm alive. I made it. We're here. Game three. Woo! Uh, excited to watch both of these squads again. Really digging this Team Red logo over here. It's like uh, some General Grievous shit or something. Working some prequel names. It looks like Bloodseeker's skull. Like, I feel like that could be an emblem that he wears. And a little or, cosmetic. Who is the, is it Reaper in Overwatch that has that weird yes. mask? Oh, cool. I know Overwatch. Yeah, him. Anyway, we are on, again, these are best of ones. So Sven, no surprise, first picked here by Team Red. They had a pretty fun performance with him earlier today. We had to run him with a Wisp, which worked out pretty well. Going to be banned out this time, so not going to get that Sven-Wisp combo, but well, they still secure the big guy with, what, like a 58% win rate? He's yeah. doing all right. I think they will be quite pleased with that. So we'll see what the other support will be. There's plenty. You know, you get your ogre, maybe. Uh, could buff him up in that sense. Also allows them to go back for that uh, OD once more. Also worked out. I think that was right. Um, in that game, too. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the the other match that we had. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. I was that this morning. Whew. Sorry. It's a lot of Dota. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, OD, also a good hero with ogre magi. <laughs> 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 He's nice. Um... But uh, yes, yeah, so we had our Bat Rider last time that came up from Monkeys, his signature hero. I don't know if they'd be willing to pick it up in the first phase now that the IO's gone, uh, potentially, but then of course revealing two cores that early can be a little bit risky. Not today, start out with the one of the best, if not the best, position fives in the patch right now, perhaps tied with Crystal Maiden, depending on what it is uh, you want to do exactly. It's the Warlock. Yeah, so you can't see his talents here, but obviously he got a little bit of a tweak in... Uh... In the last patch. What is that exact change? I don't have it handy. Uh, level 20. He 20. now has a talent that spawns. It basically throws his ulti when he dies. Yeah. So there's Death Requiem, and now there's Death Golems just crawling around. So going to make Warlock uh, a big issue. I mean, he's easy to pick off in these team fights, but once he hits that level 20 point, if you pick him off, he has friends that will avenge him. So we'll see what they're going to do now. Team Red, gonna snap up Woo! the Oracle there, and there was a change, something He's is... back! Yeah, he's back. His, his fortune end is now a root. Yes. Rather than just a stop that gives him zero movement speed. So, Anti-Mage is uh, not too happy about that. Storm Spirit gonna be held down, so... Mm -hmm. Little bit... Thank goodness. This hero <laughs> needed that so badly. You know, I was and... actually super okay not seeing Oracle in pro games, because all of his spells are called BS things. That's true. That's fair. I do like him, though. He's a nice hero. Yeah. One. He looks cool. He's an awesome uh, model. It's too bad that he got like killed at the pro scene so quickly because it was one of the nicest ones I've seen them come out with. And uh, very good against Slider. So he'll be uh, purging off that corrosive haze for his little old friend there and keeping his armor tip-top shape. Absolutely. I mean, is Oracle going to be stuck to the Sven like glue or is he going to be rotating around, maybe popping in towards that mid lane, stacking up jungle camps? I can do whatever he wants. Um, Sven, of course, with all these new builds, he'll be getting a lot of... Uh, Regen, just in terms of like lifesteal and stuff, so that helps a lot during the ulti. Could go for a secondary hero to help out as well. Never know if we get like an Alk or something, but I think that hero is probably back to the dumpster at this point. Got nerfed, and of course, uh, you know, TAs, Spens, they can just farm whatever the hell they want. You don't need Gravel's Greed anymore. Luna, Gyro. Oh man, Luna just sounds so dirty this patch, and they will ban her out, because again, you get that girl a couple of dozen ancients, you know, at 10 minutes in, she's rearing to go, biting you yep, right in the fanny, so. A lot of AoE as well. Some of the best out of a position one to stack up with the Fatal Bonds, with Sven already being gone. Alright, not today. I mean, they've got some work to do. They did end up winning their match up against Uncle Blink, if you guys didn't tune in just a couple of minutes ago. it was. Uh... Or if you tuned out. <laughs> also possible over. that you thought not today we're just going to get they run over but what was it like 58 60 minutes in they pulled it right back around snuck in elena racks and finally found that opening they needed to win the game so not today not easily beaten but we'll see what team red's going to be doing not today pick up the troll warlord which a lot of people are really liking of course the changes to sanjin yasha just making the jungle a lot more viable this guy is going to find farm and just get going very early on yeah, one of the best position ones right now. Hard to counter out to. 
Um, Halberd's going to be good against him, but you know he can also buy that item. Works pretty well on him, of course. Sanj Nyasha, as you said, could disassemble, build a Halberd, perhaps get into a Manta or something uh, to go with the Asha and uh, syncs up very well with the Slarder. Uh, once you see Slarder, you start looking at those heroes that partner up well with him. Sometimes it can be just through vision, through like an OD or someone who loves to be able to like, chase people through trees or something like that, make sure that he's always getting every single right click. Uh, or it can just be from that pure uh, minus armor to help out. So your PAs with your Magnuses, that got banned out. And again, we talked about the combination with the Warlocks. So I think Team Red did a good job drafting and banning out these heroes. It's not like you expect them to... like. Ha you, you can't get rid of everything. So they're still going to wind up with something good. Uh, and that still rings true for Team Red. Got their uh, monkey's bat. Yeah. So we saw it be pretty successful in, uh, in game number one. He was against a juggernaut, I want to say. Am I getting that scrambled up? Uh, that was the other one. No, he Weaver. had the weaver. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah. That does, uh, not today, not the best saving heroes left at this point. Uh, Troll Whirler doesn't do that well against him in lane, and they're going to find it with an off-lane Omni. They've actually banned with the Legion and the Abaddon themselves. Um, surely knowing that Team Red would probably go for the Batrider. Again, Signature Monkey Zero. They just played it earlier, so this was probably a planned attack here from Not Today. Yeah. I mean, if you give Team Red all the space in the world, still going to try to get Monkey as that Batrider because he's just so mechanically great at it. And Well, off-lane Omni Knight going to bring its own challenges here. I mean, are they going to be laying that against the Sven, or are there going to be some wacky switch-ups of long and short lanes here? Just be up against the uh, the Sven and the Oracle. I mean, Oracle still a pretty weak laner, and uh, they're actually feeling comfortable enough to go back for an Earth Spirit. Just saying, we don't really need two supports to zone you out. We're gonna go pressure the other lanes too, no matter who you pick mid. And uh, maybe uh, you know we were saying OD earlier. It is still in the pools. They take care of that TA, so there's not double ancienting happening from Team Red, but could be an OD mid to set up for the Earth Spirit. Would uh, also a very common partner with the uh, False Promise back in the heyday of Oracle. So that's a pretty realistic option here. Definitely something we've been uh, seeing more and more brought out. And, man, I'm, uh, I'm liking Team Red's draft, but if Sven gets totally crippled, they got to have some other big source of damage. There's only so much monkeys can do for his team. And Dipping into reserve time here for the last ban up against Not Today. Yeah, I mean, there's still the Annihilate Shadow Fiend. Again, it's just a hero. He plays a lot, understands it well, uh, and might just take that into the mid lane. Not too scary. Like, Troll Warlord obviously is just good at 1v1ing anyone. But uh, do they need the initiation of a Storm Spirit? Mm, potentially. I've seen some Annihilate Puck in my day as well, which wouldn't be too shabby. Ooh, but Shadow Fiend has a nice balance of burst. Invoker's still fine, and they'll just go for his second most played in the Storm. <laughs> Yeah, Storm Spirit Shadow Fiend was, I believe, the matchup for the first game of the day yeah. that Team Red was very successful in. So this time they're going to be taking the Storm Spirit, and like you mentioned, Shadow Fiend still up for grabs. One of the most uh, mechanically rewarding and punishing heroes that we're going to see this patch. But if you can play it well, it's just so gosh darn good. A little bit of a tough call. Invoker. They'll take the Invoker for themselves. So it does build a Lincolns at some point, but not exactly something that's going to be game deciding. Yeah. The uh, the Storm Spirit mid, they're like, okay, well, we can survive through this. Did we ever figure out who's who on Not Today? Because we have nope. some heroes uh, tagged up as literally nothing. So Yeah, that's just, I'm just saying hero names today. <laughs> this is like a classic South American thing anyway. They always show up to Canada Cup and they just don't have names. And you're just like, is this Kataro? That's, it's been that way for forever. It's tradition at this point. Yep. Well, either way, they pulled off a very successful game number two and left Uncle Blink kind of shaken in terms of how bad they could turn that around and a discipline they could play. So without further ado, I'm going to switch the overlay. Huzzah! Didn't forget it this time. And uh, we are on with our third best of one of all of Canada Cup. So Beat Invitational Season 8 off to a great start. There's this match and then two more tonight. And then tomorrow night, if you've got a free evening, we've got five more best of ones coming at you with Group B. We are currently doing Group A, so four new teams looking to face off and divvy it up. And yeah, this is going to be a fantastic season so far. Beautiful. I like it. Nusham smoked up, rolls down, boom, spotted. Got him. Oh, look at that. That's exactly where that ward is. And well, he'll also see that Warlock's holding too, so he now knows there's guaranteed no wards up here right now. This whole part of the map is safe. <laughs> yeah. 
the glorious part <laughs> of the new patch is these are now uh, global. At least two spectators, so <laughs> I'm sure that'll be used responsibly. Wow. Well done, guys. <laughs> Whew, I didn't want to have to go through and mute pro, pro players, but it, there may be a day. Anyway, any predictions for this draft? Lanes that are going to be particularly challenging, timings that are going to be... God damn it, Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> he misses at the dawn and said, Jesus. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, so... That's the perfect time to throw another crybaby story. You're really asking for it. There's, like, no question that was coming. <laughs> uh... It looks like, uh, well, let's see. Do they have any strange stuff coming out here? Sven is what you expect. Just uh, kind of get aggressive here and bully this uh, invoker away. Look at that. Level one. I like it. Good fruit. <laughs> uh, hmm. But, yeah, everything's exactly what you'd expect. <laughs> well, mid lane, again, we do have our Storm Spirit invoker oh matchup. I mean, what do you expect to be the main focus here? Who's going to be last? Um, my better? focus is this Earth Spirit, Andy. What, what is happening? He's fine. He's just. He's so him. golden. He is beautiful. God. You're just jealous of Nushim. You... I mean, kind of, but damn. Uh, it, this is what we're expecting. It's just. You know, Invoker wins every matchup as it starts getting more and more levels. Well, I mean, I don't mean it like that, but every matchup gets better and better the more he gets levels and levels, right? Because mm -hmm. he obviously just gets into various spells and points and regens and damage and whatnot, some move speed too. He's got it all. Uh, but Storm Spirit is kind of like, you know, you see this guy and you're like, all right, we can throw Invoker into this. Uh, top lane there, going to roll to Vaughn. Doesn't look like he's revealed his spell yet. I've, well, I mean, he skilled it, so I mean, they can just check. Yep, clearly no. Degen Aura coming at them. Down bottom, Monkey is just going solo. Shadow Word going to make things a little bit yucky here, but Batrider can tank through a couple of those. Unless, of course, he gets crushed and sunstruck. Definitely a possibility here. Monkey's taking the slow road out. Slardar teasing out that crush. Meanwhile, up top, we are going to have that root come in. Immediate repel from the Omni Knight. He gets back to safety. Monkey's, is it going to be so lucky? Has to pop out the Firefly. Making his way back up, just trying to soak some XP as he goes. Man, he is literally playing with fire here against the Troll Warlord. That may just be too much. He switches to range, and well, oh, that's the first blood secured for our nameless Troll <laughs> Warlord. Ha! Uh, well, trying to get level two. You know, it's a tough life for an offlaner these days. He will make it back in time for his stack, though. Nice grab. Saved. Wish. And yeah, where are these range creeps at? And he still has one, two, he has three range creeps. Oh, he just lost one. There's one deny there. But he'll get back for a couple. So, last hit's going pretty all right. Keeping things very close between the Storm and Invoker. No one pulling ahead just yet. Storm now fresh out of mana, but making a real go at this uh, nameless Invoker. So, gonna have to play a little bit safe. Fresh out of regen, so Annihilate. Securing himself at least a little bit of space. Yeah, still holding south, owning. I mean, Invoker, of course, always suffering these situations. There was a little bit of that pressure mid, but uh, he's winning out on the experience. There's the question mark from Annihilate, though. Speaking of experience. I love that yeah. question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I want that to be a permanent fixture, but anyway, I guess that goes along with having global crying. Same type of person wants both those things. Annihilate, now taking a little bit of damage, does get clipped by the crush, but... Gonna be just fine sitting back in lane, still sipping on that bottle like there's no tomorrow. Over here back in top, Omni Knight, taking things a little bit slow in terms of levels, definitely giving a lot of space to this Sven who's got his level four already. Just totally free farming 20 last hits to his name. This Sven is gonna be a really big problem unless not today, get themselves together and take care of that. Yeah, Vaughn's experience is pretty good though. Um, they're not really getting the best pulls off here. Jenkins, he does have a little bit of a stack going and now he's gonna bring it on over. So this might be the time to start denying Omni a little bit here. Uh, he won't, uh, he will get level three if there's a deny here from Zizzy, which there's not. Surprising amount of right click damage. Nice little grab from him. Down in the bottom lane, you've got monkeys just winding his way through the trees, trying to soak some levels, still only level two for him. The Slardar has just been doing a good job. Keeping him zoned out, that means there's a little less at the Invoker's disposal mid, but definitely good to keep monkeys in check as they know just how powerful he can be if he starts getting free farm in lane. Yeah, he doesn't even get back for a stack or anything like that as he gets zoned back some. 
There are now two range creeps, so they want to try and bully him a little bit. But uh, looks like he'll be a okay. Slider heads mid instead. Does not uh, find the rune bottom. It is a haste rune top, but they see it with the ward. So he could grab this, try and make a play on Iron Eye Lake. Just cracking five. So they want to get him before he hits six. And we'll have Sunstrike and Alacrity bonus damage here. So he needs that wave to push a little bit into his own tower here on the Invoker, or just spam it up quickly to get some tower damage on. Yep, Slardar finally making the wrap around, but Storm Spirit knows. He's he's definitely got his spidey senses tingling. Oh, so he's he gonna does. push up there. Hasted Slardar coming at him. Looks like they are gonna be able to land the crush. They got the sun strike, and wow. That's a nice little kill. Jenkins comes in, trying to spray out an optimistic fortune's end, but doesn't save his buddy. Will be able to score up a little bit of solo XP though. Oh, Slider's definitely winning the battle this game. Nusham not having the same impact. He's now 1 0 and 1 versus the 0 0 0 and just uh, trying to get some. He doesn't even get the stack. Oh, come on. Nusham, let's go. Get the game. Can't get the stack going. Nothing's going right for this guy. Well, golden like, I boy. swear, I used to be good at this hero. He's trying his best, man. He's still doing all right. I mean, Sven is starting to get. Pretty large right now. Mid lane, we are gonna have a couple team red heroes coming in. They sure would like to find a kill on that invoker, but. Oh, bottom lane monkeys. Trying to force the firefly here. Yeah. He will be fireflying away. They're actually gonna be able to catch him. Even through the firefly, he goes back for the juke. They bring in Nusham, kicking out remnants, although monkeys is gonna be going down courtesy of that shadow word, and that's gonna be all she wrote. Two heroes invested down bottom, only one hero leaves, and now Nusham pretty low on mana. Does get himself a smoke though, so try to make some team plays. Monkey's just pinging the stack. Please, Nusham, help me. I'm dead. <laughs> Go save my neutrals. Thanks, man. My babies. Does he get it in time though? Yes. Good, Look at those good, good, good. Little tomato potato action. I saw him giving him the directions too. He's even like pinging the, the area. He's like, Let's pull <laughs> this, this way. This is which way you pull. Yeah. This is time. I, I knew you had some struggles up top there with those alpha wolves. Let me. Keep some training wheels, but uh, Zizzy, the training wheels are in full effect up here. It is a stack being consumed by three points in the cleave. Looks like Slider wants a little bit of action here, though. He's like, man, is there some stuff going on up here? Is there an experience I can leech her? Yeah, he's squiggling around. For all the impact he's had this game, still a little bit lacking in terms of levels. Just about to hit his level four. Level six is going to feel mighty nice. It's not today. They've got a really solid Roche lineup, and... You know, with the changes to Roche, all they need is a couple of free moments in the pit, and they're scoring themselves some she's and oh, a solid team fight advantage. Look at this ward slider I just placed. He placed it under vision of the Storm Spirit, but it's just outside of that sentry. I mean, that is, that's, oh. You're so sad as a Storm Spirit. Yep. Back towards the mid. I annihilate. I mean, he's, he's doing all right for himself in terms of overall last hits. He's beaten out the invoker just barely, at least keeping himself even. In terms of net worth, he's sitting right up there as Sven. He's the big boy. He's just going straight in onto this tier one tower like it's nothing. And Omni Knight can't really do much to zone him. Is this Omni Knight in the best place he can be or should he start rotating with his team? Is he just trying to soak his own levels here? Because he is an in eighth of a creep off of uh, level six. Yeah, he can't do anything. He just like tries to sit in lane the whole time. You're just soaking up every little thing you can get. He's got an Iron Town. He has no TP. Can't help if anyone gets dove right now. He's just on a solo mission. He's like PVE right now. <laughs> he has no team. He has no allies. There's just this uh, like blessing of creeps that sometimes show up if the enemy supports not Ooh. pulling. Speaking of showing lane. up, yeah, we got two heroes smoked in. Storm of Spirit hitting that level 7. He's getting active and now Monkey's Forever pushing really far up. Spooks the troll, but Troll could be running back. Does manage to get off that Whirling Axes as I Annihilate just jumps in. Finally, we got Troll burning down. Will be clipped off. Monkey's Forever gets credit for that kill. And four heroes chasing down a solo Warlock. I got a hunch it's not ending too well for RTZ Disciple here. Definitely taking their time in the kill, but they do finally get that execution they were looking for. Monkey's may be fresh out of mana, but... Definitely having a better time than he was just a couple of moments ago. Yeah, no IO this game for the early rotations, but still works out. <laughs> 900 damage that fight. And... I know the subs is even getting a banner in up top there. Yeah, you can see the slaughter's frustration. And now they're kind of camping around mid. But uh, they, they know they, they don't really know where anyone went from down bottom, so uh oh. Well, slaughter is going to be making his way downtown and. I'm gonna slide right on past everyone, pinging out this cliff, anticipating maybe some vision placed there, but 
for now, just keeping his patrol up. Still looking for his level six, only having hit his level four, so that is not a whole lot. Are you seeing this of... dirty ward? Where? Next to the shrine? Yeah, you can't. It's target in it. the shrine. Yeah, that's been a thing. You can't target it. You can. You can't. Well, there is a way to target it. Oh my god, that's so funny. You can like eye click and see inside. I guess that works. But it's like if you threw a sentry down, would you see it? I guess you'd see the little health bar. You see a health bar, yeah, and realize it's not the health bar of your shrine, but yeah, it's it's uh up there with the error wards in terms of advantageous. <laughs> Nushim just gonna be That's making a good his one. way back into the safety of his tier one tower, and again, just a really calm game as Sven is still free farming as much as he wants. Jenkins there to make sure he soaks in some neutrals as well. So you know, Omni Knight feeling a little bit more free here as his level seven, but not doing anything to stop the growth of Zizzy. His life's a little weird this game, too, because he doesn't have the Storm Spirit, you know? Usually, you're the guy who has that thing on your team. That the Storm Spirit's, like, targeting you, and he hates you. So he zips on you every single fight, unless he zips on your Warlock. But uh, if he zips on your Warlock, then you're obviously just going to repel the Warlock, so he zips on you instead. And uh, who does he, like, help? He, like, repels the troll. Who, uh, you know, if he gets lassoed or something, he's still gonna take quite a bit of damage. All this physical damage from the Sven, so then he's gonna have to, like, repel and Guardian's Angel to try and save this troll warlord. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it this game for Vaughn. You're not feeling it for Vaughn? I mean, no? I, I don't know. I think a big old Guardian Angel in the place of a messy team fight as Sven's trying to go to town can really put a little stick in their craw. I mean, that's true. He's a big burst hero, so if, it, if it's that perfect timing when he comes in, it's like a three-man stun, and you show up, and you're like, BAM! Fight's over. And, uh, <laughs> you're not wrong. Down bottom, Monkeys Forever is so close to his blink right now. He finally took that big stack that he'd been working on in the jungle for the last couple of minutes, and he's got to be real careful killing him now and be detrimental. He's still got the Shadow Word. He's low health. He's got himself a lasso. He's going to immediately go and salve himself up. Well, they're going to pressure this tower while uh, Zizzy has been using his Helm of the Dominator to great effect. Uh, already stacking up here. They did block it out on the Radiant, though, but he's uh, also <laughs> stacking down here now instead. Yep. Sends them all over. Making his way into this lane, trying to look for uh, a clip there. Does get the silence off onto the Slardar, but it's not going to last long enough to hold him all the way down. And that's the stun they were looking for. Warlock Golems are dropped as Batrider finally gets a chance to solo down the troll. But Omni Knight comes in, heals him right back up. Now Magnetai is going to be doing a fair amount of damage. They get down the Slardar. Artini Disciple is fresh out of mana. This is all they can do is just watch their teammates start to get killed. You got a little bit of a bat sandwich coming in. As uh, our stand-in troll really hunting. Oh, Sunstrike just going to scrape slightly oh, north. Nushum with almost no health goes back in, taunting this troll, and they kill him off. Vaughn still up and still fighting. He's going to repel himself, but now he's just taking that slow walk to freedom. You've got Storm ready to, you know, try his luck. That was a nice oh. fight for Team Red. They got yeah. everything they wanted there. It seemed like not today just got, you know, herded. Thinking about Omni in this game too, and it's just like, there's nothing that when you repel someone, you know, you're not gonna repel and stop a Laguna Blade or even like a Dragon Slave or something like that. There's no burst magic damage really. It's this damage over time that's like still lingering in there after you repel or something. Or there's Firefly that's still on the ground, or even just like remnants and stuff. Oh, they do top grab layer. top of the Sun Strike. All right. But just like again, it it just feels so weak. I felt like Vaughn. He came in. He got two purifies off. He got the repel off. He got the guardian's angel off, and they still just lost that fight. What more can you ask of your Omni Knight? I mean, Omni Knight's doing his best, but you've now got Sven with full boots and two two items ready to go into the full Sanjin Yasha, which is even more accessible than before. I this is. And my problem, this Sven has like a big red circle around him. This is something that not today need to start taking care of. They need to either gank him or start starving him of resources because he is getting so far ahead. I guess it just comes down to uh, that Omni, you know? It, it was close, but put all these resources into stopping Zizzy's burst and then Annihilate's just like zipping through the whole fight. They're no longer leaving Zizzy alone to free farm. He is now a team player, being guarding up, guarded up by the rest of his team. And Monkeys with his fresh blink, looking to debut that thing, will uh, get himself crushed up as he goes into the Firefly. But yeah, he's just going to be moving in. There's a deep roll from Nusham. They fire blast him onto the cliff. Oh, that was neat. Monkeys forever now on a killing spree as Team Red starting to hit their stride in this game.
And Team Red are owning today. Oh, is that really necessary, guys? I think so. To be clear, not today don't hear that. It's just us, right? Yes. Okay, so true. they know that we can hear this and they're just being dicks, right? Exactly. Okay. And Any obviously they can eat you. It's a morale boost thing. <laughs> it's a war cry of their people. Yeah. Anyway, stand in. Empty here is uh, now running for his life, but gonna be dragged back in. Magnetized doing some serious work, and that's gonna be a killing spree for the storm as well. So, yeah, all of a sudden, Team Red now they doubling up the kill score. They do have golems. They are going to be doing a fair amount of damage to Nusham. Arteezy Disciple teasing out that ult. Jenkins running for his life. And honestly, even if they lose both these supports, it's not the worst case scenario. As I Annihilate comes in, he's playing with a half full mana pool here. Looks like his oh. attention is now turned to the courier, but he gets debated. And uh, wow, no, he's actually going to be able to TP out, and they can't stop it in time. It's on. That was well done. That taunt was ah. earned. That was a sick play by him, because he knew they were going to end up killing Jenkins, but he felt really safe coming back in there. He felt they couldn't burst some downtime, even if they used the ulti. So just a uh, really smart play by Iron Alley to make sure that his supports get out untouched. So now Wastes this... a massive cooldown for the Radiant. Yeah, Warlock Golem kills top. has to be used to try to pressure this lane. Sure, they might be able to find the Tier 1 tower, but like you mentioned, Sven just doing Sven things here. Casual god strength to take out a tier 1 tower. No one is even on his side of the map. He is just ruling this kingdom. And now another blink almost halfway done. Oh, that was fast. He just blasted him apart. Man, this is starting to get pretty ugly for not today. They were in a similar situation last game and they turned it around. What does that turnaround look for them look like for them now? Well, much like vacuum, Fatal Bonds is another kind of crazy spell that you know, weird things happen, so. Uh, however, if you lose your invoker right now, that's not going to be good. They can see coming, but it's not in time. Yeah, they're uh, trying their best here, but that stun has lasted altogether too long. They bring in Arteezy Disciple, but now he's got no mana for pretty much anything aside from a casual heal. He's going to use it aggressively onto Zizzy, but <laughs> Zizzy's just running back down, has himself oh, yeah. his god strength up in five more seconds. They just got to spend some time getting back to a safer area, not fighting at a choke point. Now god strength, he doesn't have enough mana to use it. Oh, gosh. There's a guardian angel coming in, and Sven's just got to run for his life as well, that earth spirit gets blasted. Gonna give up one, but it's just a support. But monkey's also getting a little bit risky here. Comes and gets the last hit, though. What you doing, I mean, buddy? that was worth. It's got the blink dagger in one second, but it's gonna get canceled there. But the axe is coming like through. Like North and... Uh oh. Uh oh. He's uh. Oh, monkey. He's flying himself into a very sticky situation here. He's waiting for that blink dagger. Waiting for right, that blink. He yeah. He's uh in deep. The sun strike though. Not gonna <laughs> connect. He makes it back to base, and he'll he'll just chill for a little bit there. Oh man, Evoker was about to buy his uh, Aghanim Scepter as well, but he he's still really close. close. Yeah, but uh, the way that all kicked off too, Zizzy, very nice play, stunning the Omni Knight when he came in. Uh, it was slightly risky just because maybe there's a chance for Evoker to get some spells off and he wasn't fully chain stunned, but they uh, they know that if uh, obviously Omni Knight completes that CP and it's not stunned, he's just going to heal him up and repel him. Look at this yummy stack for Sven right there. That was a Ports. four stack, five stack. Either way, he is a, a fat boy with a thousand gold in the bank, flying himself out of blink dagger. So, I think that smoke was spotted. It, it looked really close. Your ag aggressive panicky doodles really helped me out there. <laughs> no problem. Oh, they're gonna go right past this invoker. Oh, they see him. They just stop. Yep. Oh, double back. Double back. Nope. They, they want this guy. They're taking a troll. Yep. They would like troll warlord. Yeah, he's just gonna be. Held by the clutches of death, and Team Red score another one. Troll down for 30 seconds. They know there's not a whole lot of retaliation going on. Vaughn, he's going to be trying to TP out, but the repel lasts long enough that they can't storm hammer him. Does he, uh, understandably, a little bit sad about that, you know? Moved to tears by that play. Really is the greatest change in spectating of all time. I absolutely despise this. It's the worst thing I've ever dealt with. <laughs> the best was people you can spam like, Patience from Zoe! It's great. So, we've got Warlock uh, still riding the poverty train, still no points in upheaval. Just barely scraping together that level 7, looking for that level 8. When do Warlocks usually pick up the upheaval? Uh, it's very game dependent. Some games we see like a, uh, like zero Fatal Bonds even, and you get this like two, like zero, two, three kind of a build with ulti at 6. Uh, it really just depends on how valuable upheaval is going to be that game. Some CIS warlocks put like so much priority into it because they just see these opportunities for it to like dominate a team fight, and it, it's kind of crazy because you're like, what? How could you dare like, 
how would you skip Fatal Bonds at all? Or like, how would you put less points in the Shadow Word to go like 2 2 4 or something like that? But wow, I've okay. seen games where it's just insane. I annihilate Fearless here, jump it in, they bring forward Zizzy, and well, Slarder just gets completely chunked as the rest of Team Red are starting to invade this Radiant Jungle. Chasing out the Omni Knight, it's gonna be meeting the Courier there. Had to get his hand to Midas, of course. Oh, I'm so not looking forward to spending TA every single pro game. <laughs> Hero is just always an item ahead. It's so frustrating to play against. It's brutal. Like, look at him. He's got a Blink, a Yasha. He's got a Halberd. He's, this Helm thing is just in his inventory, making him money on the other side of the map. Infuriating. Where is this buddy? Oh, he's, uh... Oh, he's at the other Ancients now. He's, he's rotating, you know, showing some love to both sides. <laughs> Once it gets a little too hard to stack on one, you just go <laughs> the other. <laughs> All right, so either way, they're just going to be going in. Zizzy, no hesitation, jumps right forward. Monkeys locks down the target. And that poor Slardar only had a couple of seconds alive after just respawning from his last death. So easy tier two tower. God strength still rolling. And we'll see if Team Red want to push this or if they want to take the slow, methodical, go back for a Roche, go back for a couple more picks, or, you know, if they're just chomping at the bit to start diving high ground. Hopefully it doesn't end up like last game. What, where there's there's 70 minutes in and still not doing anything, and all of a sudden, not today, crawl back in it? Yeah, where essentially they uh, maybe wait a little bit too long. I don't see any Midas's besides Earth Spirit. I'll allow that one. <laughs> On the Dire, that is. How mad would you be if Sven stopped for a Midas right now? I would actually, like, shoot. I would leave. <laughs> I'd be done. <laughs> I would be so... I, I, I actually can't physically imagine... Like, you can justify anything in Dota, but you could not justify that. You mean Sven's 25-minute Midas? You couldn't make it work? My god. Can you imagine? That'd be so funny. That's, it's the new meta, man. If it actually The WANs happens. would come out in full force from me. <laughs> I would, like, stop right now, buy the compendium levels, and start spamming it from my chat. Ah, dude, you'd switch to casting Smite. We all know it. That's true. Anyway, down bottom, Team Red, again, continuing their aggression, feeling real good. In terms of overall coverage, this is a uh, pretty naked map. We got some sentries crawling around the area, trying to scout out some That's of this dire rider. vision. Sure is a bat rider. Hey, look, there used to be a warlock there. Volker just turned tail and run. Yeah, meanwhile... No uh, help. I mean, we knew it was coming. There, <laughs> The whole team. Every time there's a single kill, really, guys. It really is the war cry. I think you nailed it. You know, every time Sven hits it, maybe that's when he does it. I. I like how there's this troll here, and they're just ignoring. Uh, and yeah, they were picking him. I think they know he was there. I don't know if it's a radiant thing, but anyway. They're gonna split a little bit of interest here. Nusha may take one for the team, but Jenkins coming in. There is gonna be a fantastic warlock ult. It's doing all they can do. Monkey's Forever caught in the Fatal Bonds, trying to figure out how he gets out of this, how he go forward, and, well, looks like they will end up losing their Cleaving Oracle. Leaving off but the golem. Yeah, <laughs> now Sven is just going to be going to town there. They're able to turn this around. A double kill for Monkey's. He's going to try to TP out, but it will get canceled by that tornado. Monkey's Team, is don't take so damage. low. Stop taking damage, everyone, and, yeah. They're all gonna get out just fine. Nusham with a scratch of health continues to press forward onto Arteezy Disciple and they clip him with the flame break, force him back, and that's gonna be another kill. But, well, it comes back to bite him as they do end up losing Nusham. Meanwhile, all five boss. heroes are dead. We got some crybabies <laughs> coming out because what else Those are you supposed Nusham. to do with the downtime? <laughs> that's for dying to fatal bonds. That, that, that's you crying when your team won't leave. <laughs> Guys, stop taking your life. damage. Stop taking damage. <laughs> <laughs> Start spamming it. <laughs> that way, it's uh, starting to be a pretty sizable Yo, see Omni with that wave player when he Midas that creep? That's wave player right there, guys. That's what a Midas gives you. Well, uh, not going to be giving him a whole bunch there. Monkey's friend. I was just about to say this distinct lack of crybabies. There we go. I, uh, I'm starting to get real freaked out when I don't hear any crybabies. I wonder if Red's okay. So... Either way, yeah, sizable gold lead going the way of Team Red right now. Net worth very, very sizable. 23,000 XP in terms of how that's looking for levels. You got a level 20 already out on your Sven. His talents are uh, 30 attack speed. So he is hitting very fast, very hard. And even Manalus is just juking out. Oh my god, come on, guys! 
as they uh, stun up both. <laughs> There's going to be a Sunstrike coming in. Zizzy, very, very low. And they have to play this one safe. But no, he's going to be going in, taking a couple of tier two tower shots. There's the crybaby. Don't give up, crybaby. <laughs> yeah, I thought for a minute they were going to be wholesome and, you know, genuine to each other. But moving forward, yeah. monkeys forever. Like three Got seconds. A lasso. Oh, gotta wait a second. Yeah, two oh. seconds. Oh, there we go. Gee, uh, that's just sad. Through the repel, they just drag him forward. They know the repel's gonna expire soon. Nice tornado into the upheaval. Actually doing a lot of work. It's just about finishing the job now. Nusham isolated is gonna be going down, but the fight still goes as they're looking for more. They take out the troll. Position one is dead. Deafening blast clips onto monkeys, but I Annihilate's able to turn things out of it. He's running a little low on mana, so oh, can't sit uh, back in aggressively. Where'd my spend go? Oh, I'm just gonna go farm some ancients, guys. Yeah, so, yeah, casual. You guys are fine, right? Yeah, okay, you're just cool. taking a medium camp. What's up? That's exact. But yeah, Team Red keeping up the pressure, really corralling not today up in the corners and things just going pretty all right. There's a double damage room now in the bottom river. Let's see who's gonna spot that out. Yeah. That honestly looked like such a good scenario. It did. Like Sven gets forced out early. You're fighting into them. They use a lot of spells on the troll. You have this invoker here, right? They like all set up these combinations and stuff and still just nothing. Very depressing stuff. And uh, monkeys again, he's just gonna have lasso. Oh, he finds a DD. Gotta hurry though. Only uh, 20 seconds left, so I don't think Sven will be able to get here in time, sadly. He'll have to go to I Annihilate. I think Storm Spirit's just going to fill up the bottle, get ready yeah. to roll, and... Well, we still haven't seen a Roche this game. It's 25 yeah. minutes in, and... Yeah, Definitely I thought not time. today we're going to be prioritizing that a lot more, but they have since been corralled back. It looks like they are smoked up, making their way forward. Monkey's going to be popping the smoke, and Monkey's may lose his life here. They dump everything they've got on that poor little Bat Rider. Necessary crybaby sprayed out as now it seems like Team Red may have to get their hands off the chat wheel to get into this roach pit. Oh, uh, he finally drops the all chat chat wheel. That's when things are getting serious. <laughs> that, that's when not today can hear it. Well, not today. All of a sudden, just flip this game around a little bit. They get themselves an Aegis onto the Invoker, and well, Zizzy comes forward. Very, very low mana, though. They're your melee racks, though. Eh, who needs them? Oh, and uh, your, to your top racks. Oh. I mean, worth for a Roche? Uh, either way, it's uh, it's looking good for Team Red. You can see the net worth has stopped accelerating in Team Red's favor, but they're still holding strong. They've got a lot more items to work with. They've got bigger cores Ooh, to work that with. That blink belt. Very nice. Kept Zizzy there. Mm. It's beautiful. Sorry, it was like instantaneous axes flying at his face. It was sexy. Don't know if that's the adjective I was going to use for that, but... What? Uh, a good blink doesn't get your... your... Jimmy's roaring? Get that my right. Jimmy's roaring. I... okay. Jimmy, Jimmy's getting roared here. Yeah, there, there are a lot of roaring Jimmy's going down as Nusham finds a kill onto the Troll Warlord. Position 4 for a oh, position nice 1. Now, get back is called out, but that is not the call that Team Red are looking for. <laughs> they are just moving forward here. There's a deafening blast holding Nusham temporarily in place, but Monkey's still bullying down this Invoker. Yeah, this is not looking easy. Omni Knight now trapped in the wad. They want to kill off this mid, and they will be able to pop his Aegis. Now the focus turns to Omni Knight, who goes straight on down. Nusham just getting ready to roll. We got more Crybabies coming out as finally the good game is called. Team Red will be victorious for a second time. This is a godlike streak for the Storm Spirit, who's naturally taunting out of the game. Oh, well, I have to say, that was the most crybaby fuel game I've had the pleasure of casting so far this patch, and I thank Team Red for it. Uh, with no disrespect to Team Red, I have uh, taught a kindergarten class with better manners, but wow, that was <laughs> certainly a game of Dota. Whew. Team Red looked great, though. Uh, on fire lay, looking good. Uh, opening with Sven, seems good. Who would have thought a hero that's destroying pubs might do well in the pro scene as well? But it's not even like an omni destroying pubs. It's so much more than that because like he works off of that efficiency, the jungle, pro teams. This is what they're used to. Uh, and obviously everyone very well trained if they've been playing any uh, competitive over the past like three years or so. They remember how to do this whole spend shenanigans with the uh, the ancients and the camps and whatnot. So we got uh, how many? We still have two more, right? Two more. But you know what it's time for, Trent? What time is it? It's time for you to cast with Mott. I'm out. Body Mott. Oh, well, it's been lovely, Annie. <laughs> Thanks. Can you play me out with a crybaby, Trent? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I hate this job. <laughs>
<laughs> no, but seriously, thank you guys so much. I'm going to cut it to a break. When you get back, it will be Mott casting up Team Doze <laughs> versus Uncle Blink. So lots more Beat Invitational Season 8 group stage action coming up. So see you guys soon. <laughs>